Biomarkers matter, providing options for people with cholangiocarcinoma. Every part of your body is made up of different types of cells. Each type of cell has distinct features, molecules that can be measured in tissue, blood, or other bodily fluids. These are called biomarkers. Cancer cells have damaged genes that cause the cells to go rogue. This can alter the distinguishing features of these cells in various ways. It can also impact how these cells operate within the body and how the body reacts in response to these rogue cells. Cancer biomarkers are produced either by tumor cells or by other cells in the body reacting to a tumor. You might also hear them called tumor markers or driver mutations. In cholangiocarcinoma, cancer biomarkers may be diagnostic, prognostic, or predictive. They each offer important clues that can help direct your care. Diagnostic biomarkers may signal the presence of cholangiocarcinoma. Prognostic biomarkers give you and your doctor a sense for how your cancer might progress and predictive biomarkers help to determine which treatments are most likely to be effective for your individual cancer and which may not work for you. For example, if you have cholangiocarcinoma, you may have a type of biomarker called a mutation that is fueling your cancer. Knowing your mutations will tell your doctor if you're a candidate for a targeted therapy, a kind of treatment designed to home in on cells with a specific mutation, hmm? while causing less harm to normal cells. Other biomarkers could indicate that you would benefit from an immunotherapy, a type of treatment that uses the power of your own immune system to treat your cancer. Some of the same biomarkers seen in cholangiocarcinoma are also seen in other cancers that have their own approved therapies. Depending upon which biomarkers you have, you may qualify for a clinical trial studying whether these therapies are effective in cholangiocarcinoma. That's why your biomarkers matter. So ask your doctor early on about biomarker testing. You may hear it called genomic testing, tumor testing, or molecular profiling. A tissue or blood sample is needed for testing. So if you're having a biopsy, ask your doctor to collect enough tissue for biomarker testing as well. Over time, if a drug stops working or your cancer returns, that may mean your tumor cells have become resistant to that drug. At that point, a second biomarker test may be needed to understand how your tumor has changed. This could identify new biomarkers that may be targets for treatment. A message from the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation. Learn more at biomarkersmatter.org. You and your doctor are a team in your care. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice. Talk with your doctor to decide the right course of treatment for you.